what if to build the world of our dreams could be fast, could be free, and could be fun? What if to build the world or the planet of our dreams could be fast, free, and fun? So three years, three years ago, I had a big crash in my life. Uh, I read this book, Collapse, from Jerry Diamond. He explained like, scientifically how we're going to go. We, we are running into a collapse that we all already know. But he described how and why. And together with this event, this, this book was a, a lot of tsunamis and disasters and flood. So I decided to stop everything in my life and take two years out to travel all uh, around the world to try to understand what could be my best contribution to save the planet. So I decide something like very small, because I'm just one person. So I decide a target to mobilize two billion people in four years. You know, like, I have to be, have to be serious. Like, seven billion people, we cannot mobilize. But two billion people, maybe, <laughs> could, can go there. <laughs> so uh, I went there and traveling all over the world, try to understand what's going on, what are disasters that are going there, and how people are really ready to do some change. You know, how could I reach two billion people? So here in Brazil, we have a traditional game that we mobilize, that's called Gincana, that mobilized the whole city to play a few days in possible mission. For example, you ask them to find a pink elephant in two hours. So you know there is no pink elephant, and there's no elephant in Brazil. But within two hours, guess what? They go find the circles in their neighbor, they paint a pink elephant, and the pink elephant is there. So in this situation, the whole city don't complain about the impossible mission. They have a lack of resource, they have lack of time, but they have a lot of fun. So I wonder, to mobilize two, two billion people, what if we could create a glo global gincana? So what I did was to travel around, because I'm a serious person, so, is it possible? Is it, are you crazy? So, I, I, tra I traveled for 25 uh, countries and playing games with them, like impossible missions, to, play a play, to, to build a playground in a slum in India in two days with no money. They have no money, so they have to do it with no money anyway. <laughs> and they made it. I went to Kenya the same, Cambodia the same, even United States the same. Argentina, not yet. <laughs> you know? I have no time. So, what I, what I learned from this, tri this trip, playing a game, an impossible mission, people can easily procreate freely. They become friends right away. People have readiness. They are ready to play an impossible things because it's a game. People find and reach spect spectacularity. It doesn't exist in English, but it's nice. It should be. <laughs> it's spectacular. Results, like a pink elephant. Wait. <laughs> and during this whole process of hard things, they have a lot of fun. So they keep wanting to, ah, oh, you guys stay longer, we're going to play more, we're going to play more. They make more playgrounds and squares, see things that they never did before. So, okay. What's the second thing that, that I learned? People all over the world is ready to play impossible missions. They all care about the climate, they all care about the planet. So they are ready to do it, as much as it's fun. The other thing, the best leaders ever, the, the, the powerful guys that were able to mobilize the whole community were kids. And the third thing, we have abundance of free resource. So any one of us, even in slums in Nigeria, wherever, we have connections. We, have, uh, uh, we can reach the best resource, the best, best methodologies, and the best way to mobilize people all over the world. And we are seeing that all over. So we create a game called Play the Call, a global game. And basically, it's quite simple. Three steps, so you go to internet and you receive an impossible mission. A mission impossible, like the movie. So you, you have to, to shape it fast, free, and fun. So you are able to call all your friends to join you. And the third time, you go to make it happen, and then you share, you take pictures and you share on internet to inspire more people. Quite simple, you have three weeks to plant 1,000 trees. So go to internet, ask for uh, 300 of your friends, please, each one of, uh, of you plant, uh, plant three trees, take a picture, post it on my Facebook, and you can prove that you've made it. We're going to uh, give people a, a, a platform, a very e easy platform, especially for kids playing, that can uh, articulate all the tools that you have on the internet, Facebook, YouTube, all the tools that are free to mobilize people, all the technologies that you, you can go there. So basically, we're going to allow kids to be superheroes in a very simple way. 
uh, we have a, a collective platform, so you can measure how many people are, when you are getting to, to the two billion. And you can see who are the people, the point of lights in the global. You can see how many people are playing around the world and the impact in the planet. We have technology for that. So basically, this whole mess of post possibility information we're going to organize in that simple platform that I showed you. And then people are going to be able to use this platform to change their own neighborhood, planting trees, vegetable garden, natural food, painting, pimping the carrosses around. So they're going to do everything locally, but inspiring people all over the world. Oh my gosh. So, Edgar, is it true or is it possible? So my last 30 seconds, we did it. It's possible because three years ago, before I started my, my trip, we tested. So Santa Catarina, six cities underwater. The situation was like that. We started to create a game to bring back the, the joy of life. Three months, bring back the joy of life. We get a, a free platform on the internet. We create three different teams and uh, weekly uh, uh, impossible missions to train people all over the country to be able to join Santa Catarina to help them. The fire team, people that want to go there and help support them. The air team, people that are going to circulate the resource uh, uh, on the internet. And the land team, people that, that were there. So three months later, 800 people there. Uh, 800 people, 12 communities, 10 days. We, they, we create bridges, we create playgrounds, we create playgrounds and squares, uh, motocross things. And after that, one year after, just by watching what we did there on the internet, more than 90 always all over the world that we didn't need anything, they just saw us. So it's possible. So if uh, in a while, uh, after December 21st, someone is going to knock your door, to start to call you to, to, to play. So say yes and join us and change the world. Thank you.